Assalamualaikum and hi everyone. Okay, today you will learn how to solve non-homogeneous equation for second order. Okay, for second order. Okay, this is the non-homogeneous equation because fx is not equal to zero. Okay, if fx is not zero, then we call it as non-homogeneous equation for second order. So solution for uh, non-homogeneous equation for second order is yx equal to yh plus yp. Okay, we have two parts of solution. The first part is homogeneous solution. Okay, the second part is particular solution. Okay, the first part, homogeneous solution, you solve you solve, uh, you solve the homogeneous solution by let fx equal to 0. Okay, this fx you let equal to 0. Then you will solve this equation. Okay, solve using homogeneous method that you have learned before this. Okay, for second part, particular solution, we have two methods to solve it. The first method is method of undetermined coefficient MUC and the second method is method of variation parameter MVP okay for MUC we have three cases based on this fx okay if the first case is the case one when fx is polynomial such as x square okay fx equal to x square or fx equal to x square minus 1 all right when fx is polynomial yp okay we have um, the general solution for yp equal to xr multiply with cx power of n plus dx n minus 1 and so on okay look at example if our equation equal to y square y double prime plus 2y prime plus y equal to x square okay our fx is x square so uh, fx is polynomial so yp for this equation is xr Multiply with cx square. Okay, you follow fx, x square, plus dx plus e. Alright. For case 2, okay, when fx is exponent, for example, fx equal to exponent 2x, fx equal to to exponent negative x so fx is exponent yp equal to xr we always have xr for yp okay xr multiply with c exponent kx okay this exponent kx refer to F fx all right for example if we have fx equal to exponent 2x, so our yp equal to xr multiply with c exponent 2x. Okay, same with the fx. Okay, case 3, when fx is trigonometry. For example, fx equal to sin x fx equal to cos 2x and so on okay when fx is trigonometry yp equal to xr we always have xr multiply with c cos kx plus d sin kx okay this cos kx and and sin kx depends on the question for example, if we have fx equal to sine x, so our yp equal to x power of r multiply with 
C cos x plus D sin x. Okay, depends on the fx. So that's all.